This is the first time where it's a complete fucking fail. Everything I said in this video, disregarded. This shit is not how you're supposed to paint your calipers, bro. What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're finally gonna start working on 335i again. I haven't touched this car in a minute. I have everything loaded up right now. Let me take it to the back of Edgar's house and show you guys what we're gonna do to it today. As you can tell by the title of the video, we're gonna be painting the brake calipers today. I've had brand new rotors and brake pads for this car for months. I think I bought rotors and brake pads for this car literally the first week that I owned it and I just never got around to installing them. I don't wanna install fresh rotors and brake pads and then put the old janky calipers on. So yeah, let me get everything set up and show you guys what the game plan for today is. I always forget how good the car looks back here. Look at that. God damn. It's late as fuck already. What time is it? It's already like 5.20, so I had to wait for this one to get off work, but he's gonna help me take off uh, calipers right now. That's the first step. So we're gonna jack the car up today. The goal for today, I'm not gonna finish it today, but the goal for today is to take all the calipers off, all four of them, because I'm gonna paint the calipers by actually removing them. I don't know why people paint them while they're still on the car. You're not gonna be able to paint them good like that. So that's the goal for today, to jack it up, take all four calipers off, and then that way tomorrow I'll be able to prep them, sand them, paint them, and yeah, should be it. Let me get everything all sorted out because I have hella tools inside the car right now. God damn, bro, these boxes are so heavy. The rotors for this car are heavy for no reason. All right, let me get everything sorted out and show you guys everything I have and what the plan for today is. All right, got everything laid out. Bro, I've had these parts for so long. They've just been sitting in my room. Hopefully, they're not fucked up because literally the box looks like something blew up inside of it. All right, I got my power tools because I'm going to need my impact and all that shit. Electric ratchet, jack, two jack stands. Edgar's going to let me borrow two of his. And then inside of here is everything I'm going to need for actual painting and prepping of the calipers. So just sandpaper and stuff that I've had from the 240. And... You're gonna need some high temperature primer, so the most heat resistant one that you can get. I was gonna use engine paint for the calipers, but the calipers warm up to a higher temperature than the engine block, so that would have not worked. So you need to make sure that you get the very high temperature that goes up to like 1,300 degrees. Here's the color that I'm gonna paint the calipers. I might regret it later. I painted the block on my 240 white and I kind of regret it because it's gonna get dirty fast, but these new brake pads I'm gonna put on are low dust and the rotors are slotted and drilled or one or the other. So they shouldn't build as much brake dust as the stock rotors, but I don't know. I think white would look good. I was gonna do red again, but I might change wheels later and white goes good with everything, so. So yeah, white paint. I got high temperature clear coat and high oh, and high temp primer. So that's everything I'm gonna need. And then here are the actual parts. Honestly, I don't even remember what the fuck is in these boxes. I ordered these a while ago. There you go. Here are the sockets. I don't want to bring my heavy ass box over here. Is yours heavy? God damn. No. Fuck. Why didn't you have it closed, bro? No way. Didn't this happen to you the first time? God damn it. Yeah, that's what I get for laughing at Edgar the first time that shit happened to him. No way, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. Why the fuck didn't he lock the box? Oh my God, it's gonna take me like 30 minutes just to clean those up and organize them. All right, but those are, those are the sockets. Let me clean that up so I can show you guys what's in these boxes. Honestly, I don't even know. I know there's a wheel stud kit. We're not gonna do that in this video. That's gonna be next video. There's rotors and all that shit, but this video, we're just gonna be focusing on painting the calipers, but I need to open that box and see what's even in there. All right, let me clean up this mess and get started. <laughs> All right, first step is we gotta jack the car up so we can take the wheels off and the calipers and shit. Um, this is the part where me and Edgar almost died last time when the fucking car started rolling. I don't, I still don't understand how that happened, but. So let's jack this bitch up, get it on four jack stands or maybe just two, maybe just do the two in the front and the two in the back at, at different times, but I'm gonna try and get it on all four jack stands. Little change of plans. Edgar's jack stands are way too buff, bro. <laughs> Look at how high the jack is. Like literally, we could max out this jack and it still won't be enough height to fucking fit 
these big ass jack stands in here. All right, so yeah, the car's gonna be way too fucking high with those blue ones on there. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna do two wheels at a time, and we're gonna take the wheels off, take the calipers off, and then put the wheels back on, and then lower it, and then do the same thing with the back. I just need to find a way to cap the brake line when we take out the caliper so it's not dripping brake fluid. But I don't know, we'll figure it out. But we can't put it on four jacks. We don't. Have, we need four of the same jacks and lower ones too. All right, let me get started with that, and let's try and do it quick. All right, we got the wheel off. Taking off the caliper is really simple. It's literally just two bolts. Taking out those two bolts, the caliper comes off and then just take off the brake line. You just have to be really careful with the brake line. Make sure you don't strip it. I can't see them right now, but it's literally just two bolts that hold in the caliper on the back. This is a pretty big caliper, to be honest. God damn. All right, I'm gonna take out the two bolts on the side, on the back, and then remove this, and we should be good. And then take off the brake line, and then once this caliper's off, and I find a way to plug the, the brake line so that the brake fluid doesn't drip out too much, um, I'm gonna put the wheel back on, and then do the same thing to the other side, and then lower the front, and then we're gonna do the same thing to the back, because we don't have four jack sets. Damn, bro, I just cleaned this shit, like, I really need to find some wheel fender liner. All right, let's get started and rush to the rest. calipers hanging on the jack stand these are the two bolts you have to remove one two back there turn the rotor all the way so that you can fit your impact back there you're gonna need an impact that shit's hard as fuck to take out by hand or you probably can with a breaker bar or something but all right next step literally just to remove this caliper is just to remove this brake line right here it's a uh, i don't even know what millimeter that is 10 or um 11 or 12 six. <laughs> it's one of those i'm gonna just try and get a wrench in there hopefully it's not too hard to take off if it's too hard to take off i'm gonna go buy a flare wrench kit because i don't want to strip that bolt if i strip that now i'm fucked let me figure this out and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and then we'll come back once we have the front calipers off all right, we got the caliper off. Bro, this caliper is big as fuck. Look at this. God damn. All right, so to take this off, you also have to take off the sensor. And literally, it's just these clips that are, they sit inside of these, like, um, holding clips. You just pull them out, and they should slip out. And then for this, this goes inside of this little box that you can see back here. All you got to do is just, there's one clip right here and another clip right here. And you just open the box like that. And then inside of here, it looks like a battery. That's where this white connection sits. And it's literally just like a weatherproof connection. And then there's this one that goes right here. And then literally, it's just a little push clip. Push it in and just pull it out and then that whole wire will come off with the thing. I couldn't figure out how to take it off from this side, so I just took it off with the whole wire because I'm gonna replace this to the way. Every time you do your brake pads on the 335i, I think any BMW, um, you need to change the brake pad sensor. So this is ready. I don't need these brake pads. Damn, these brake pads had a lot of life left in them. Anyone need these, hit me up. I'll give them to you for free. That ass. I don't, I'm gonna take all this shit off because I literally need just the bare caliper. But yeah, this caliper is straight. So what we're gonna do right now. Oh, also, Edgar had this brilliant ass idea. I was just gonna put this green bucket under here and let it drip into it. Edgar just said to put a Ziploc bag, but we didn't have Ziploc bags. So we just zip tied a glove to it. So all the fluid should fill up to here and then once it fills up to the line it shouldn't come out anymore theoretically it might still come out i'm not sure but if this works this is literally a genius ass idea right now we're gonna go on the other side do the same thing take off the caliper and then we're gonna put the front wheels back on and then do the same to the back i'll check back in once we have all four uh, calipers off As always, some sort of problem has to show. All right, let me explain what the fuck happened. Everything's going nice and smooth. We got both uh, front calipers off. They're right there. Big ass calipers for no damn reason. Look at this shit next to my foot. Bro, that's crazy. All right, this shit better stop like a fucking Brembo after this. So the two bolts on the back, they're really hard to get to. Literally my big ass impact. I mean, it's kind of my fault because I got a fucking <laughs> tractor impact. Yeah, for real, for diesel trucks. So that doesn't fit in there. My hammer drill doesn't take it off either. So literally, I'm, I can't think of anything else. I'm probably I'm probably literally gonna go to Home Depot right now and buy the impact stubby just because literally like, there's no way to take that off like those two bolts are so on there I'm gonna go buy the impact stubby and me and Eddie are gonna come back and I'm gonna just set up a light and we're gonna get these calipers off today because I'm gonna need help to get off the calipers so yeah I guess I have to go buy a fucking $250 tool just to take off two bolts all right let me go to the store and then I'll check back in and see what happens because we're gonna need to come back and take these off by the end of tonight I could probably take them off by myself tomorrow but it's gonna be a bitch all right let me go to Home Depot and buy that fucking tool all right, we just went to Home Depot. Edgar, let me see the tool. Bro, this is literally how invested I am in this channel. I literally, bro, there was no other option, like literally. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could have maybe lifted the car up higher and hit it with the breaker bar. But like I said before, I was not able to take off those two back caliper bolts with the hand ratchet. There was no way. So I literally went to Home Depot just to buy this fucking impact stubby. This shit better work. This shit has hella power in it. 
Hopefully this shit works. I don't have impact sockets or anything, so we're gonna use regular sockets. Shut the fuck up. We're gonna use regular sockets, see how it goes. But yeah, I literally just have to go buy a fucking 200 something dollar tool for four bolts, bro. I'm pissed. I'm literally pissed. We're gonna try and take out the two back calipers for the, for today, and that should be it. Damn, bro got a bazooka. Check it out. <laughs> All right, let's get these back calipers off because I'm fucking tired already. We're gonna blast this bitch with PV Bastard, the caliper bolts, and the uh, brake line and test out the stubby, see if it works, bro. All right so, right so for this, we're gonna break this loose right now. Fuck, I don't even know if you guys can see. All right, there we go. There's this break, this shit is weird. There's a little nut right here. We gotta break this loose and this whole stick will uh, break loose. Two bolts on the back of the caliper. You can't miss them, they're big as fuck. Take out those two bolts and this will come off and then we'll be able to fully take out the caliper from the brake line. All right, we're just gonna speed run and take out both sides right now because I'm fucking tired and I'm over cars for today. All right, let's see if this stubby put in work. What you got right there, my boy? Let's see what this whole time about. Let's see what it's talking about. Could be a little bit more stubbier. You got it on there? Make sure it's flat, don't strip it. All right, we good, we good. Is it even on the loosen section? Loose? Right. Oh, yeah, we good, we good. All right, what do you have it on, three? Yeah. All right, bro. Number of Dios. Do you have it on loosen for sure? Yeah. Bro, there's no fucking way. There's no way the stubby can't even remove it. You got it? it? It came out? Oh, thank God, bro. I was literally about to fucking just sell this car on the spot. <laughs> Where's the bolt? Bro, that's crazy. How do people take these off without a fucking stubby? Like, imagine we only had hand tools, like how we did uh, two years ago. Let's see what it's talking about. Nah, I'm gonna need the extension. Yeah, make up your mind, my boy. <laughs> oh, wait, I got it. <laughs> nah, bro, the torque on the back brake calipers is crazy. If you guys do this shit by yourself, literally get an impact stubby. I don't see how, and I, unless you have a lift and like a huge breaker bar, I don't see how the fuck you can get this out. Unless my car is just stupid, which most of my cars are. All right, wish us luck. Hopefully the other side comes off, because this is crazy, bro. So I wonder what the torque spec on them is. I don't know, we'll see. All right, let me get these calipers off and check it back in. We bag is the next day. Got all the parts right here. It's already late as fuck. It's like 3 p.m. already. Today we're gonna get these painted and get them ready to put on the car. All right, so I have everything I have laid out. I already have my little ghetto stands I'm gonna use to paint them. I'm gonna just put like some wire through here and hang the caliper right there. If you guys have seen me uh, paint the intake manifold or any other parts on this channel before, you I always do that. It works like a charm. This is the wire I'm gonna use to hang it up. I just got some Scotch Brite and some 220, some 320 and maybe some 400 that I might use. I'm not gonna go crazy and grind them down to bare metal. I'm just literally just gonna scuff them up, just like a simple paint job. I have the high temp primer, high temp paint, high temp clear coat right here. I have some masking tape to mask everything up. And I have the calipers right here. I haven't touched these at all, so I haven't washed them or anything. You just see how filthy they are. All right, so the first step for today, get these nice and clean and just get them all ready to start scuffing them up. Because if I start scuffing them up right now, all it's gonna do is it's gonna dig all this dirt into the metal and it'll be really hard to take off later. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the brake pads and. And just leave the bare caliper and start take them to the back and degrease them and I'll come back once they're all nice and clean Getting the calipers ready to start washing them, but I have to take out the brake pads. So let me show you guys how to take out the brake pads because it kind of took me a minute, not that long, it took like five minutes, but let me just show you guys how to take them off so you guys can take them off a lot quicker than me. I already disassembled one of the big ones and one of the back ones. Took this one apart, but I put it back together so I can show you guys how to take it apart. There's this red clip right here. I think you're supposed to take this off first. Try pressing down on this and it should come off. You want to pry this brake pad out of here. So like that and then get like a flat head or something. Brake pads pried out. Now you literally just lift it up. Yeah, I definitely didn't put this clip on right because it's way harder to take off than it was last time. But now with that brake pad out, literally just grab your hand on both sides right here and right here and just push and it'll push this whole piston out and it should push this brake pad right out. Push that out like that, brake pads out. And just make sure you put this back inside how it was, just like that. There we go. No brake pads in it. It's literally just the bare caliper. 
and it should be ready to start washing. For this big side, it's basically the same idea. I already took this one apart, but I'm gonna show you guys how to take this one apart. It's the same thing. There's a small brake pad in here. Pry this one out, and then with this one out, you have enough space to be able to pull on these right here. Pull that, and it'll pull this brake pad out, and then push that back in, and you'll be able to take the brake pad out. All right, now the calipers are all bare. Now it's time to get them all washed and ready to prep. I got all the calipers nice and cleaned up. They still look dirty as shit, but they're really clean. I don't know if I'm gonna paint the inside or not. I think I am. I'm gonna just see how good I can sand it down and clean it up. My dad also went to AutoZone for me and O'Reilly to try and find more paint because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna have enough. I only bought one bottle of each. I recommend you guys buy two bottles of each if you guys do plan on doing this. I didn't even plan on breaking the calipers apart this much, um, but I'm gonna just do it either way because the end product's gonna be a lot nicer and more painted. So the next step for right now is I need to go through every single part. I'm gonna just sit here like an idiot and just sand everything down. I'm gonna just hit everything with scotch Right. and if there's like some really smooth areas like this I might hit it with 220 but I don't think I will have to once everything's sanded I need to go ahead and clean everything really good because it needs to be hundred percent like clean as a whistle before you paint them or else the paint's just gonna flake right off within a week so let me get started on sanding and then I'm gonna clean them and then I'll check back in and get started with the primer Real quick before I start sanding these and prepping them for paint, I just have a really quick announcement to make. So if you guys watched the last few videos, me and Edgar started a brand new brand. I already have my normal brand September 7th, but we just started a brand new brand called Stuck in Neutral. It's on the screen right now. And I just wanted to announce the first drop date because I know some people have been DMing me and asking when the first drop date is going to be. So the first drop date is going to be on the 18th of this month, which is in two weeks from now. So yeah, it's going to be June 18th. And there's going to be more details like as we get closer to the date. But for now, we're just making all the like finishing touches on the website and everything. And it should be ready to drop on June 18th. So yeah, if you guys haven't, follow the Instagram right here and stay tuned because we'll be showing everything that's gonna be in the first drop it's been something we've been working on for a few months so i'm really excited to finally drop it and i can't wait to show you guys and i can't wait for you guys to see the actual quality and all the work that we've put in to make this a thing all right with that being said let's get started with this oh yeah real quick hi hemi <laughs> she's probably a little bit bigger since the last time you guys saw her hey down come here sit good girl shake good girl other hand thank you you're so smart. Let me get started with uh, signing these down and prepping them for paint. You want pizza? Nope. You can't have human food. All right, little update. Look at my little dumbass sitting here just sanding these parts. I've been here for like an hour and a half or two hours, I think. But I'm almost done. I'm on the last big caliper. I already finished both uh, the back calipers and then the one of the front. And I'm on the last one. I'm almost basically done. I still need to sand that and the little clip after. And then after, I just need to clean them. So hopefully I can clean them before the sun goes down. And I'll just set up a light with my little ghetto paint booth over there. And I'm going to spray these down um, by tonight. Because I literally need these by tomorrow. Because tomorrow I'm going to start putting the rotors and everything on the car. And I need the calipers ready to be able to finish everything up. You guys won't see that in this video though. That'll be the next video. But this is like the only thing I've ate today. I haven't ate shit. I literally woke up and started getting ready for the video. <laughs> I'd be sacrificing my health for y'all. Bro, what's that one Little Caesars meme? Bro, Little Caesars is fire. I don't care what anyone says. I'm about to put that Little Caesars meme that I don't even know what meme I'm talking about, but I'll put it on the screen right now. That's just so funny. All right, let me finish this and then finish this last caliper and then get this all cleaned up and then hopefully start spraying paint and primer by the end of the day. I'll see you guys in a bit. I finally finished. What the fuck are you doing? I finally finished sanding all the calipers. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and clean everything, make sure everything is nice and clean and make sure it's ready for paint. And I'm gonna set up two lights and I'm gonna start spraying the paint today because I literally need these done by tomorrow. There's no other option. And I have a mess over here. Look at all this mess right here. All right, let me clean these up and get them ready for paint.
little update. It's already pretty much dark. I was so tired, but all right. I finished cleaning all the, the calipers. They're all ready for paint. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna mask off the calipers, get them like ready, ready for paint because they're just clean right now. Basically, I'm gonna try and get them painted today. If I paint them, I'm probably gonna finish like at 11. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Here are the calipers. You can't really see them. The light's pretty bad right now, but they're all nice and clean and they're all ready for paint. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them inside my house right now and I'm gonna mask them off. I'll check back in the bin and see what I get done. All right, little update. The homie David came through. Yes, sir. All right, let me show you guys what we got going on. Bro, you guys will never guess what time it is. It is fucking 9.41 right now, and I'm barely about to start painting these parts. I'm not leaving until I finish these uh, parts. Like I said, I need them tomorrow. Like, there's no other way. Let me show you guys the setup I got going on. I got both of my Milwaukee lights and literally just aimed at each side, so it looks pretty good. I was just worried about not being able to see that good, but we should be able to see, and I have all my paints right here ready. It's still gonna take a while because literally we have to wait like 10 minutes in between each coat for it to dry. Fuck it, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's times like this where I really wish I had my own garage or warehouse, bro. Like that shit would, like imagine painting this shit in like a garage with fucking AC and lights and everything. Damn, that's gonna be great. All right, let me get started and see what I could get done. Hopefully I could get everything done by today. I'm gonna start off with the two front brakes because they're the biggest ones. Everything else should be pretty quick. So check back in a bit. Day 12 35 at night. I've only finished the front calipers. This shit looks like a fucking science experiment or ritual was going on in my fucking front yard. <laughs> Alright, this is literally everything though, and I just need to paint the clips, but the clips should be easy. I could probably paint those on the table, but I'm doing these. I told you guys I was gonna finish these calipers today. This, there was no way I was gonna wait any longer. This is still gonna take a minute though, because I haven't even primed these. Join my clan, please. <laughs> <laughs> that here came through. Alright, let me get these done and I'll check back in tomorrow and I'll show you guys how they turned out. fucking crazy right now it's literally it's literally 3 24 in the fucking morning bro and we're still out here edgar left edgar went to go take a piss homie david's still here damn bro we're fucking wild there's no way i'm still out here at 3 30 in the fucking morning but the calipers are painted i'm out here at 3 30 for you guys bro like if you guys made it this far in the video drop a like that shit helps a lot especially starting off so literally i never asked for likes like that but please if you watch the video this far drop a like it's literally free it takes one second all right calipers are all nice and painted i literally just got done spraying the final coat i give them three coats of each i'll put the things on the screen of all the steps i took but they're literally done and yeah that's pretty much it tomorrow morning i'm gonna show you guys how they look i'm so tired right now i'm gonna wait for them to dry to the touch and I'm gonna bring him inside. We gotta wake up at what? What time we gotta wake up tomorrow? 6.30, boy. 6.30, <laughs> you got three hours sleep. Dude, this one, want, this one wants to start on the Beamer at 3, 6.30, bro. It is 3.30 in the morning right now. We're probably gonna start like at nine. Nah, nah, we're gonna be at seven, bro. <laughs> All right, bro, see y'all in the morning. All right, we're here the next day. Bro, <laughs> what time did we finish this here, David? Like four in the morning? Yeah, bro. All right, we got calipers right here laid out. I already took off all the wrap. Right now, me and Edgar are gonna assemble them with the brake pads and everything, so I have them ready to put on the car. And then I'll show you guys how they look like assembled. Like I said, I can't show you guys how they look like on the car because I can't put them on the car because I'm gonna put the rotors and all that shit um, today, which is gonna be next week's video. So if you guys wanna see how they look like on the car, watch next week and you'll be able to see them. But today, I'll show you guys how they came out. They're a lot cleaner than what they were before. So let's get these built and I'll check back in right now. This is the first time where like, I mean, usually I don't do like a 100% professional job, of course, but I do decent enough. This is the first time where it's a complete fucking fill. Everything I said in this video, disregarded. This shit is not how you're supposed to paint your calipers, bro. Before I show you guys how they turned out, all right, first of all, they're ass. I'm not even gonna put them on the car. I'm gonna start all over because literally like, if I put them on the car like this, they're gonna fuck up within a week and I'm gonna just have to do all this all over again. So before I show you guys how it turned out, I painted them correctly. They look clean as fuck last night, but even last night, I barely noticed the paint I was using was header paint. And for that paint, 
paint, you have to literally bake it. It's like a powder coating. You have to literally bake them. Like if you paint the headers and then you turn on the car for 30 minutes and let it warm up and that cures the paint. I thought I could seal it with the clear coat, but it didn't work out. So I'm pretty sure because of that paint, the calipers didn't paint well. Like literally while I was assembling them, putting the brake pads in them and shit, the paint was just falling off of it. So if I put it on the car, it's just literally not going to last more than a week. So let me show you guys how they turned out and then um, tell you guys what I'm going to do. God damn it, bro. <laughs> I told you guys they came out like shit. All right, let me explain what the fuck happened. So this one, I cleaned all these with baby wipes because they were all dirty because we were literally assembling them. I think I'm also gonna paint them a different color because white gets dirty way too fast. They got so dirty while I was even just putting anti-seize on the brake pads and shit and assembling it. These I cleaned with baby wipes and this one I didn't clean. And you could just see, this was sitting for like five, like literally five minutes in the sun and this whole corner came off, so. Yeah, this shit was literally not gonna last in the car, especially with the heat of the brakes, it was literally just gonna fuck up. Like I'm pretty sure if I scratch it with my finger now, look at that. The clear coat never uh, cured and it should have cured by now, but yeah, this shit's fucked up. I have to literally redo all these all over again. So yeah, the car's just gonna sit here. Meanwhile, I'm gonna do rotors, uh, stud conversion on it, and yeah, that's gonna be next week's video. But by then, I should have the calipers repainted. I'll make, uh, I'm not gonna make another video on it. I'm gonna just repaint them and then include it with the with next week's video where I install the rotors and stuff because I did everything right this video, but the paint I used was wrong. And it was literally like one in the morning when I realized that the paint was like maybe not gonna work and there was no way I was gonna be able to go get new paint. So yeah, I guess this is the first fail on the channel. This is a complete fail. But all right, this is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys still enjoyed even though it didn't come out how I expected hopefully next week's video that you guys see I, I have the calipers all freshly painted and they're actually nice and uh, painted exactly how I want them so all right I'll see you guys next time thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like and remember stuck in neutral drops two weeks from now on June 18th and cop a shirt because I need new calipers all right I'll see you guys next time Later.